I love coffee, especially from Starbucks. But whether you're on Team Dunkin' or Team Starbucks, both teams can agree that coffee is delicious. Coffee comes in different sizes, different flavors, and you could even pick if you want it iced or hot. There are many styles in coffee, which makes everyone have their own unique coffee. Coffee is a lifesaver in the mornings. Most people wake up exhausted, so they get ready for work and on the way, they drive to their local coffee shop and go through the drive-thru and bring their drink with them to work. Well, it's not this easy anymore because of something called coronavirus. Because of the coronavirus, we can't go out. We can't get coffee, we can't go to stores. And worst of all, we have to work from home and that could be very tiring, especially if you don't have your morning coffee. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make your own iced vanilla latte. The three topics I will focus on are the ingredients that are needed to make your own iced vanilla latte, the procedure on how to brew or make the actual coffee, and the transformation of a plain cup of French vanilla coffee to an iced latte. Here we go. First, we're gonna start with the ingredients. You're gonna need a Keurig coffee maker and a French vanilla flavored coffee cup. You're also gonna need a cup. I prefer to use a measuring cup because you will later have to transfer the coffee you're making now into a separate cup. Next, you're gonna need Splenda, which is a type of sugar. I use two packs so my coffee isn't too sweet but isn't too bitter. And you're gonna need a glass three-fourths filled with ice, and you're gonna also need two ounces of milk. So once again, you'll need a Keurig coffee maker, a measuring cup, a second measuring cup, a, a vanilla coffee cup, two Splendas, a water cup filled with three-fourths the weight ice, and two ounces of milk. Like I said earlier, most people go to coffee shops like Starbucks because they don't know how to make coffee at home, but now, you don't need to because I'm gonna show you how. As you can see, this coffee cup is empty. That's because the Keurig machine is out of water. So you have to fix this by, not by buying another machine, but actually filling up the Keurig with water. So on the left compartment, you're gonna remove the top and slide out the little L-shaped cup. You're gonna fill it up to the max line and Make sure you have towels because this could be kind of messy. So you're gonna carefully put the little L-shaped cup back in the left side of the machine and place the top on. So now you can make your coffee. So you're gonna take a dirty cup that's already been used. You're gonna throw it away, save it for later, and put a new vanilla flavored coffee cup. You're gonna see a ready sign. So you're gonna click on the arrow until you see the six ounces sign. So that's gonna fill it up, the six ounces. As you can see, the coffee is filling up and now we're ready for the next step, which is transformation. A lot of people drink plain coffee, but they don't realize that you're capable of making a customized coffee that tastes like a barista made it. I'm now gonna show you how to transform your plain coffee into a latte. First, you're gonna add some sweetener. I'm using a brand called Splenda because it's more popular and most coffee companies use this brand. It's basically like a little packet of sugar. I'm using two of these because it makes my coffee sweet, but not too sweet. It's in between bitter and sweet. And next, you're gonna get a tall glass with ice cubes. You're going to fill the ice cubes three-fourths of the way and you're going to fill all the six ounces of coffee in it. Now it's time for milk. I'm using two ounces of milk and I'm pouring it into my freshly brewed coffee and look how satisfying it is when the milk and the coffee mix together. It's like a lava lamp that you could drink. You're going to take a straw and mix it for about 20 seconds and look at that. Delicious. 
Today, I showed you how to make your own iced vanilla latte. The three main topics we focused on today were the ingredients you need to make your own iced vanilla latte, the procedure of how to brew the coffee, and the transformation of a plain cup of coffee to an iced vanilla latte. Once you taste your homemade latte, you will be delightfully surprised. Not only will you be saving money from not going to Starbucks, Dunkin Donuts, or other coffee shops, but you also gain independence and pride. Thank you.